Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to insulate the garage door using the basic material available in Home Depot or Lowe's. The reason why I am doing this project is because uh, our garage has no insulation for the garage doors and uh, because of that in summer it becomes very hot and in winter it becomes very cold. So what I have decided is that uh, to insulate the entire both the garage doors using the basic insulation material which is available at Home Depot or Lowe's. And let me show you the other reasons why uh, the garage becomes hot or cold. Let me close the garage and since And as you see there is a gap underneath the garage door over here there is a gap and over here if you see you'll see some gap over uh, there from where the sunlight is coming and this is the source of getting heat or cold inside the garage door uh, so what I've decided I've decided to buy um, uh, buy some insulation foam from the Home Depot or Lowe's and then paste it using the liquid nails on the entire garage door both the garage doors and then in addition to that there is a gap in between these uh, uh, two garage doors over here if you see so the plan is to use the R16 insulation and uh, then uh, close this gap using the uh, drywall and another part which I see is that there are some gaps on the other side on this side also it's not visible here but uh, the air or the outside temperature pours in from that area so I'm going to use the fiber uh, fiber foam to fill up that gap let me show you the material which I'm planning to use uh, this is the material which I bought this is the foam basically uh, available in Home Depot or Wolf um, or in Lowe's. This is Artec insulation foam available in Home Depot for 13 bucks and uh, this comes in the size of um, uh, 4 by 8 feet and one side it has the advertisement and on the other side of this foam it is uh, silver reflective material. So this is going to go, uh, this is going to face um, outside. In addition to this, I have also uh, purchased this garage door bottom sill, which is again available in the local stores uh, for $9. And basically it is just, we have to nail it on the bottom of the garage door like this. I'll show you that uh, when, I, when, I, when I'll actually do this one. But this is basically to cover the gap underneath the garage door like this one which we have here and over here there is some gap is there but rest of the area is not that bad means there is no gap underneath the garage door but this definitely is one of the source for getting the uh, temperature inside the garage door and then in addition to this I'm going to use this pink uh, fiberglass insulation uh, which has the R factor of 13 more the R factor more the good insulation so this I'm going to use in this gap and on the top of the uh, garage door the R factor of this insulation sheet is I think it is R7 or R8 and it's very lightweight so I don't think I may need to do any kind of adjustment on the spring of the garage door and um, uh, it will be very easy. And the liquid nail which I'm going to use to paste this uh, foam is this one, the heavy duty liquid nails. So basically uh, I'll spot, uh, I'll put this on the garage door and then just paste the uh, sheet on that uh, part. Let me show you the layout of our garage door. So over here, each panel, the topmost panel is uh, 22 inches by four feet. 
the height is 22 inches and uh, width is 4 feet so this is one this is second then there are bottom two panels are not 22 but uh, 20 inches by 4 feet so 20 inches by 4 feet 20 inches by 4 feet these two also 20 inches by 4 feet and the bottom two are again 22 by uh, 4 feet so basically I need total eight panels to cover one garage door and then another um, set of eight panels to cover this uh, set of uh, garage door so let's begin uh, so I've already took the measurements uh, for each of the uh, thing and I'm going to cut these uh, uh, panels into the desired size and uh, once I cut those panels I'm going to paste it using the liquid nails one more thing which I want to uh, point out is that uh, this is a plain simple garage door new garage doors have the grooves and uh, you can just um, instead of nailing those uh, foam um, panels on the garage door you can just press press fit them inside the uh, grooves but unfortunately my garage doors are straight and plain so i have no choice but to nail them using the liquid nails so uh, basically uh, first i'm going to tackle this gap which is underneath the garage door i already have the garage sealer, uh, sealer underneath the garage door but uh, over here there is a gap so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this garage sealer from here to here into two pieces and then just uh, uh, nail it on from the bottom on this uh, garage door to fill up this gap so uh, let me cut this piece like this this is my first piece and I'm going to cut another piece so that it will be airtight like this because I don't need the entire garage door to be sealed from the bottom because it is pretty good this is the only portion where uh, I need so what I'm going to I'm going to lift now the garage door and this particular uh, garage sealer seal comes with the nails so basically lift the garage doors and nail it from the bottom let me show you that part so I've cut this seal, uh, seal garage seal uh, and this comes with this type of nails so basically it's just pretty simple take this nail and hammer it from the bottom and that's it so I'm going to have few more nails hammer it from the bottom so that it will be a so this is the first step of making this um, insulating this garage door and this is one more nail from the bottom and let me show you now after closing the garage door whether that gap goes or not Earlier there was a small gap underneath the garage door but now there is no gap so I'm going to do the same thing from the other side and then we'll go to the next step of the insulation of the garage door so I'm going to use this uh, pink insulation to fit inside this one so that this portion will get insulated the plan is to then cover this entire surface using the sheet drop so this way this portion will get insulated so any air draft which is coming from these gaps will, uh, will get prevented and then the last step is going to be cover this entire garage door using the uh, sheet uh, insulation sheet which we bought uh, and I showed you earlier 
so i have covered the entire those gaps using the pink r13 insulation foam uh, insulation material um, later on i am going to cover this using the sheet rock so now the last step is covering this entire garage door with the insulation sheet which uh, which i showed you earlier that is this one first i am going to cut it into uh, the pieces and then going to paste it using the liquid nail so i am going to cut this uh, insulation sheet into the pieces which i am looking for for uh, to paste it on the panel so basically the best best way of cutting this uh, insulation sheet is using the utility knife make sure that whenever you are going to use this utility knife uh, you change the blade and use the new blade uh, because by using the new blade uh, you will get the sharp cut on the cut surface so either you use this kind of utility knife or you use this kind of utility knife uh, let me show you how exactly it looks and i will show you one uh, one other way also where you can get the factory kind of finish where wherever you cut it so i have this cut paste and if i sh if i show you one cut sample cut using the utility utility knife i have to do few times like this and you know after that this thermacol comes out and it makes a mess and even though it is a sharp blade on the utility knife the cut is not that that good you see here right let let's try using this utility knife now using this utility knife if i do the cut it is coming little bit nicer than the previous one but when i cut it at the edge there is still not that good so i want to avoid this kind of things so there is another method is there in which you just take one sharp knife and hit the surface or edge of this knife and then cut the uh, thermacol and you will see that that cut will be better than whatever the cut you are going to do using the uh, utility knife so let me heat the surface of uh, this uh, uh, sorry the blade of this uh, knife and then i'll show you the cut uh, i already marked the three points on this um, insulation sheet one two so i'm going to just draw a line so that this is the place where i'm going to cut make the cut on this insulation sheet so this is one part and there is one more line that we draw here also okay so we are going to cut this like this uh, cut this insulation like this so let me heat this uh, knife and show you the cut and that cut will be cleaner cut compared to the regular this type of knife or this type of knife so using this knife you got this kind of kind of cut using this knife you got this kind of cut which is better than the previous one but i want to show you the cut by heating the surface of this knife and that cut will be just like this very nice finish cut okay here is the um, kitchen knife i have heated the surface of this uh, blade of this kitchen knife and i am going to cut here so you see it just like cutting like a cake and very nicely sharp cut is coming okay let me complete this one on this side also and this is the remaining part and let 
me show you the cut and you see the cut is very nice it's just like the uh, factory cut so this is this way you can get the very nice finish for your uh, cut sheet uh, surface and there is no messy of course this mess is there but this is from the earlier demo which I was giving but otherwise the cut will be very nice so let me use this uh, cut sheet on the garage door and paste it and show you the few pieces which I pasted over there so I've cut the two pieces and just uh, uh, trying to see that how it looks so basically they are not even right now because I have not used the liquid nail but the idea is to put the liquid nail dots uh, four dots over here one two three four and at the bottom one two three four and then two dots over here just to keep it um, uh, steady on the garage door so I will do this for this one as well as I will do it for this one so once it is done I will let it dry and then it will be a one key one surface um, unfortunately I cannot do anything with this part but uh, uh, I don't see any um, difference having that it uh, having it open so this is the nail, liquid nail gun which I am going to use and four dots and then I will paste it uh, let me do that part and then show you the entire surface once it's dry out and then I have to repeat this process for all other uh, garage panels that is 1 is done, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then once it is done, uh, we are almost, almost done and I will let you know that how it feels whether it, it makes any difference or not uh, and uh, whether the ins insulation is of any use or not so first dot of liquid nail like this second dot of liquid nail and fourth and do the same thing over here the idea is not to have too many liquid nails but as much as it is required to keep it um, on the garage floor um, garage panel basically so two three four That's it. So I'll do the same thing on this other side also. Just add few small ones at the corners <coughs> so that it will not come out. So that corner is already covered. Let me add here. And that's it. And this is how I'm going to put the another panel also. Over here. And then adjust the <coughs> alignment of this on the before pressing them so over here there is really cut is required so cut this one Once it is done, I am going to repeat the process for all the panels and you see there is some small gap is there which is nothing but the uh, panel opening. 
so I want to keep it as minimal as possible. So I completed pasting two insulation sheets on the topmost uh, uh, panel of the one of the garage door and it is pretty nice it looks pretty nice and in addition to that now, now I'm going to do the same thing for the other panels also like here this is not yet pasted and that's why it is kind of uh, loose so the idea is that again use the liquid nails to uh, paste these pieces also over here because of this hardware I have to make some slots uh, to make sure that the hardware is uh, still exposed and uh, there is no um, uh, effect of uh, this insulation on that hardware means when the door opens or closes uh, this insulation should not interfere with the way door was operating so over here uh, it is not yet pasted but uh, here also I have um, cut the slot to expose the hardware uh, in addition to this, I am planning to uh, fill up this gap by pasting this uh, aluminium foil tape. So this is kind of a um, similar tape, uh, insulation tape. So the idea is that once this is pasted, all the doors are pasted, I am going to uh, close these gaps uh, using the uh, insulation tape and then just make a small cut over the tape to uh, looks like it is uh, the entire insulation part is uh, the part of the garage door itself because I cannot leave the uh, tape intact after uh, pasting it on the two pieces it has to open up on these edges I will show you what exactly I mean but um, the idea uh, the, but the thing is now everything is done now I have to do the same thing for the uh, lower panels and on this garage door also. So I have all these uh, panels are ready. It's just now matter of um, pasting it on the garage panel doors using the liquid nail. Let me finish this part and once it is done I will show you the last part of the step that is uh, uh, pasting this insulation tape, uh, insulation, aluminium insulation tape on the uh, panel and I'm done with the installation of this foam on the garage door and it looks pretty nice and the important thing is that it is not only uh, it looks nice but um, I've seen that drastic temperature drop in the garage so it is like around seven to eight degrees uh, drop in the temperature and uh, on top of that it looks nice also let me open the garage door and show you uh, if there is there any interference because of adding this foam on the garage door and as, as you see there is no interference at all um, it looks nice, it is going up, it is coming down very nicely uh, and uh, I would suggest that uh, this is a short, not short term solution but a cheap solution to uh, basically insulate the garage door. And just to uh, show you one more additional thing to enforce this uh, even though I use the liquid nails to paste this uh, uh, foam on the garage door I have used the drywall screws to enforce this foam on the garage door so here over here you see so basically this will keep this insulation right next to the garage door and there is no gap so the insulation will be very neat and tidy thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know thanks bye